Hey everyone, and welcome to True, your 30-day yoga journey. Today is day 14, and we're gonna slow it down and listen. Let's get started. Prana is fitness. Okay, my darling friends, let's begin today seated. And I highly recommend for today's practice sitting on a towel or a blanket. So if you have to pause the video and grab that, go ahead and do it. And if you're like, no, I'm good, girl, that's fine as well. But it's nice to have a little lift today because we're going to be, um, yeah, we're going to be still. We're going to be listening to what's going on inside through certain stretches, but kind of zooming out. The idea is that if we have this relationship to listening to our guts, to our intuition, to the body, of course, and to the heart, um, then we're doing everything that we could possibly do just by listening. A lot of times we don't even have that relationship and, and then we get into a place where we're like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> And um, it's a little bit difficult to start from zero. So to summarize that, I think time on the mat is time well spent because it's time that you get to practice listening. Which might seem kind of obvious to some people, but maybe not if you're here for the, you know, which we've been working the last couple of days. We're going to take a, a break, just give the shoulders and the arms a little bit of a rest, and then we'll all hit hit it uh, back strong tomorrow for day 15. So let's begin seated nice and tall. Hopefully by now you've set up on something. And allow your hands to just rest wherever they naturally feel right today based on your body and the temperature. And then you're going to tuck the chin just slightly, lengthen through the back of the neck. Sit up nice and tall so that the energy that runs up and down the spine, and this isn't like just yoga stuff, this is um, cross-cultural understanding now, even now in science too, studying the energy that runs throughout the body and how it has these center points that run up and down the spine where nerves meet, however you want to look at it. So when we invite each other to sit up tall here in the practice, we're really creating an opening, an invitation for the energy to flow with more ease. And when the energy is able to flow with more ease and not get stuck, think of it as plumbing, then the, all systems are able to unite and listen to each other. When things are closed off or blocked, uh, it becomes very hard to understand what the body is saying, what your guts are telling you. So begin to notice your breath and just slow everything down, especially if you're like squeezing in this practice today because you don't want to miss it. We're going to slow down and that can be really challenging for many, me included. Because without the practice of slowing down, we also are not able to even pay attention to what the body or the heart uh, or your guts are trying to tell you. We just kind of do what we're told, take the prescription. I don't mean medicine, I just mean the prescribed yoga or the, you know, whatever it is and go. So let's slow it down today. It's be a nice little rest day for your body as well. Continuing to gently deepen your breath. And then start to get a little more mindful through the neck and the shoulders. So maybe you relax the shoulders down and actively lift your chest up. Maybe you take this opportunity to find soft, easy movement through the head and the neck as we've been doing. 
And definitely, as you slow down and just arrive here in the moment, notice where your mind is going, where your thoughts are going. And then acknowledge whatever's going on and let's start to amp up the sound of the breath to anchor the mind and give ourselves really something that we can return to in this mindfulness practice. So take a deep breath in through your nose. And really listen as you elongate the breath out. Maybe tapping into a little ujjayi breath here, continue. Notice if you feel a change already in your body or your mind just by breathing more fully and slowly. Great, then try to keep up with this ocean sound, this victorious breath, this ujjayi breath, as you bring your feet together. And it should feel really good if you're on a towel or a blanket to kind of rock the pelvis forward and you feel this kind of like yummy stretch in the groin, in the inner thighs, and in the hips. And then instead of clasping the toes today, we're gonna to grab the ankles, loop the shoulders, and now find that steady breathing again. Here, cobbler's pose. And notice how this ujjayi breath or this long, audible, controlled breath can shift your mood and the way you sit and support yourself. So maybe you sit up a little bit taller, maybe you relax the shoulders down, continue to do that. Maybe you lift up from the pelvic floor. Maybe you forgive something that you made a mistake on. People make mistakes. Or maybe you forgive someone else. You know me guys, just keeping all the options open. Maybe you take a cue from our softened practice and find a nice, easy sway side to side. Awesome, take a deep breath in, continue. And use your exhale to release. Knees are gonna come together and my knees come together. If your knees don't come together, that's fine. They can come here. You can stay hip width apart. Love your body. Be kind with your thoughts. And take a deep breath in. You're going to come here, just kind of hug the knees in. And what we're wanting to do is challenge ourselves to lift up a little bit from the base of the spine. And then, ah, oh, one of my favorite, favorite poses. Inhale in. Exhale soft rounding of your sweet spine forward. So you might just be here and then notice what this shape feels like. Or maybe you come all the way in. Close your eyes and again, return to the sound of the breath. Feel the breath as it stretches your upper back body, your middle back body, and your lower back body. Notice where you might be gripping or holding. And if you're like, oh man, I have so much energy. I'm bummed. Day 14 turned out to be like a chill one. Dude, you have to trust me that this is valuable time. That you are going to get strong and trim and tone and have all this energy to succeed and do all the things you want to do if you take this time to also find this rasa, to find this flavor and to listen a little more closely and have that break that conversation already going. And 
And if you're like, Adrian, you crazy, uh, then man, enjoy this amazing stretch for your back as you breathe, your neck, the shoulders. Great for your posture. Great, let's inhale in together. Here we go, inhale. And exhale to carve a line with the nose and slowly sit back up. Fabulous. Now we're gonna go for Janu Sursasana next. So keep your uh, towel or blanket and you're gonna send the legs out wide in front of you. Benji, I'm gonna share the stage with you today. You can stay. Sit up nice and tall. And we're gonna start by bringing the left heel in. And you can measure it about fist width apart from your inner thigh if that's helpful, if you like to be precise. Otherwise, you can just hug it in. And then even if you're pretty flexible, it's nice to have the uh, lift rather of the, of the towel or blanket. Then you're gonna use your dog to really press up against your, just kidding, but you're gonna flex the sole of your foot. So send your toes up towards the sky, right foot. And then inhale, send the fingertips behind the ears. So you're trying to get the shoulders and arms and waist in the same line here. So this is a great practice for things like handstand and stuff like that. So we're not lifting here, but we're coming at it from here. Inhale, reach up high. Navel draws in and up from our center practice. And then here we go. We're gonna go all the way over towards the right leg, right shin, right toes. Now, you might just be here, chilling like a villain, slowing down the breath, listening, listening, listening. Maybe you cradle the calf. Maybe in time you're able to come to interlace that around the sole of the foot. <laughs> Sorry. So I'm gonna stop talking and I'd like for you to close your eyes and just really listen to the sound of your breath, nice and steady. See if you can create that ocean sound. And don't you pause this video and don't you quit. You're doing so great. Do you know how incredible, do you know how many yoga teachers don't show up on their yoga mat every day for 30 days at home. I don't have a home yoga practice. Trust that what you're doing is valuable. I genuinely believe it with all my heart, so that's why I do this every year. And thank you for sharing your time and practice with me and for listening to me. And I listen to you as well, and that's why we're here again. Your right knee can be bent as generously as you need it here. We're gonna take mm, about five more cycles of breath here so you can really listen and just listen to whatever thoughts are coming up. Listen to the sound of your breath. Listen to things that are going on in the other room. Just listen. slowly begin to release and we'll bring the right heel in soles of the feet kiss together cobbler's pose close your eyes and notice if you feel a difference from the right side of your body and the left side of your body And then you can keep the right heel in this time and send the left leg out long. Find your measurement, get situated. And then find places to anchor down here. So kind of these heavy muscles of the legs, they draw down, we lift up from the pelvic floor. We can use our center practice to find that drawing in. And then here we go, send the fingertips behind the ears to rise up, reach up. 
take a couple breaths here to notice. Okay, okay, my shoulders are really going through a process. Inhale, exhale, turn your center over towards your left leg and check it out on this side. Breathe deep. And we will begin to listen again to the sound of the breath, to any thoughts that are coming up. Just pay attention. And for me, it really helps to invite just a softening of the gaze or go ahead and close your eyes. Notice when you feel uncomfortable, how you want to maybe come out of the pose or trick into a certain reaction and see if mindfully you can lean in and perhaps allow something to unravel or unfold that maybe wouldn't have had the chance if you had run away. Five more cycles of breath, you got it. Lean in. Then slowly begin to unravel, awesome work. And you'll bring that left foot up once again, cobbler's pose. Clasp the ankles, sit up nice and tall and notice how you feel, lean back, lift your heart. And if your lower back is feeling fussy at all, think about drawing your tailbone in just a hair here. Sweet. Now, from here, we're going to have just a little bit of fun today. So we're going to slide off. Not that this hasn't been fun. <laughs> but we want the variety in this type of journey, right? Every day is different. So if we're not used to kind of a, uh, approaching the yoga mat um, that way, what good, what good does it do us? Okay. So come off your towel or your blanket if you have it. And you're going to come on to the bum so you can feel the sits bones on the earth. And then we're actually going to bring the hands between the legs here. And then you're going to bring your hands or wrists underneath the calves. And then here we go. We're doing this. Get ready, Benji. We're going to slowly connect to your center all the awesome stuff you've been working on. And you're going to lean back and maybe lift the toes. Maybe they kiss together or maybe they cross. Fancy. And then maybe you bring the hands into a gentle fist. And lift up from the armpit chest. Now, if you're like, whoa, no problem, because I've been here a lot. I've been working on my center work for a lot of my life. But I'm still going to invite you, all of us, to try to find a stillness here, a serenity, as you listen to the sound of your breath and your body. Lengthening tailbone down and lifting up so we're not just collapsing into the small of the back, but you're really creating a little rebound effect, which we've practiced together. Lift your chest, lift the armpit chest. And then lift the shins, uncross if they're crossed and cross the other way. Breathe, breathe, breathe. 
Nice, then inhale, lift the shins, lift your armpit chest, lift your heart. And exhale, uncross, slowly bring the soles of the feet to the earth. Then listen carefully, you're gonna bring the knees in, keep the feet hip width apart. Left hand's gonna go to the uh, mat behind you. Right hand's gonna grab the outer edge of your right foot. Then to start, we're just gonna send the sole of that right foot forward. And a lot of us have done this before, just kinda like pulling back um, a bow and arrow a bit here, opening through that hip. Okay, now we're gonna inhale. See if we might want a little extension. If not, that's okay. Extension, extension. And then bringing the bend back, left hand now comes to take the right foot, right hand comes behind. And then everyone's gonna love this one. Little massage for the glute, the hip, the piriformis, all these wonderful muscles that you've been activating. This is gonna feel awesome. You're gonna lean back, way back, keep listening. And then maybe come onto the forearm here and then you're gonna use this left hand to guide the right foot to find a nice massage on the top of your right glute, on the outer hip. Oh yeah. The piriformis should feel amazing and you can really go to town here. <laughs> and this is why you get all the way to day 30 because you never know what you're gonna get. Everyone's thinking it, so I'll just say is that 30 days of true is like a box of chocolates. Okay, and then we're gonna come back and I'll guide you through that same little dance on the other side. So come on back to center, plant the feet. And first the right hand goes back, a little kickstand. And then grab the outer edge of your left foot. Go ahead and kick that foot up and then we're gonna play here. We're gonna use this later, so this is just great. Just checking out the mobility here. And you can stay here, or maybe you work with extension. Everyone's working with their heart lifted, lower back supported by rooting to rise here. Beautiful. And then right hand's gonna come to the left foot. Left hand will now come behind. And here's the yummy part. We're gonna lean back. I like to come to the forearm here so I can really get on the um, muscle there. But you're just gonna go for a little ride here. <sighs> Keep breathing, should feel amazing. Should feel really, really good. Just massaging that muscle. And if you're, I don't think you are, but if you are stuck in your head right now, get out of your head and get into my car. No, get into your body, listen, listen, listen. Sweet, and then when you feel satisfied here, go ahead and release your left foot, but then stay down here. Grab your blanket <clears throat> for your towel as a little pillow, as we say here in Texas. And then come on down to your pillow. Just so happens I have a little breathing bolster here. So I'm gonna use it. You're gonna come to lie on your back and we're gonna bring your left hand gently to rest on your heart and your right hand to rest gently on your belly. And I'd like for you to relax the weight of your body as best you can, completely and fully into the earth. And then we'll close the eyes and we'll just begin to listen to these two deep center points of listening where your hands are. Feel the warmth on your lower belly, your guts, and of course, your heart. This would be a good practice to return to when you feel like you don't know what to do. Trust that the answers are inside. The advice that you are seeking is inside.
nice work today. Thank you for saying yes and for listening. Tomorrow will be day 15, our halfway point. And I believe it will be awesome. But for now, reside here, present with your breath, knowing that what you seek, you already have. Killing it. Love you guys. See you tomorrow. Palms come together as you're ready. And we acknowledge each other as one. Namaste. Oh, good morning, peoples. Oh, woo. It is day 14 of my truth journey with Miss Adrian Yoga with Miss Adrian Yoga with Adrian. There's no miss in her title. I just like to say that. But yes, today was day 14. Tomorrow's halfway point when it is there. Um today was nice. It's Sunday for me and today was day 14. Listen, so it was nice and chilled. Nice and relaxing. She made me laugh as always. But yes, it's like um these days are perfectly perfectly lining up with my life, I tell you. It's like sometimes I'm like, ah, oh, I hope I don't have to do nothing too strenuous. And then boom, it's like a chilled out one. So, can't wait for tomorrow. Let's get it in. Oh, woo. Network with Karma Monero on Instagram, email, Facebook, and Twitter.